Um, Wait, can uh, you do that again? Sorry. Okay. Hello, good morning. Uh, Coming close. This is an azalea. This plant is an azalea. It has a flower on it in the spring. Small flowers is, have, have um, terminated. Well, this plant is really very, very, very susceptible to an insect called lacewing. And lacewing, what they do is they attach the bottom of the leaf. If you look closely, you'll see that is a lacewing. See it move? And what they do is they just attach themselves to the bottom of the leaf and they will pull the chlorophyll out of the plant. If you notice that leaf has a lot of white, that's because the chlorophyll has, has been pulled out. So it's not a matter of, it's not really a, an if lacewings will be attracted to azalea, it's when they'll be attracted to azalea. So it's, it's really important to always spray lacewings in the spring with organic phosphate that has a systemic that will last during the period that lacewings are attracted into the or to the plant. So there's another lesson here and that, that lesson is, is that if a plant has more than 60 percent dieback within the plant I, I think it's best just to remove the plant entirely because even if it does survive the character of that plant will be to the point where it's not pleasing aesthetically. And if there's exceptions, but then the commercial application is really what I'm referring to. So take this, take a look at this plant, and this would be an example. We've, we've been trimming the dead pieces off of the plant over time, gradually trimming dead pieces. And, but at this stage, we've only got maybe 20% left. It's time to just remove the plant. And, and the best thing is just take a saw and cut it off at the ground with, with, um, at the base and then cover it back up with the pine needles.